introduction to trigonometry before going to this topic let us memorize the founder of trigonometry he is none other than greek astronomer hipparchus he is known as the father of trigonometry the word trigonometry is derived from the three greek words tri meaning three gon meaning angles and metron meaning measure trigonometry means measure of three angles or sometimes measure of three sides it is a branch of mathematics which studies on the relationship of between the angles and sides of a triangle mostly right angles consider a triangle abc with what is this abc here angle a angle b angle c are the angles and let small a be the side opposite to angle a and small b be the side opposite to angle b and small c be the side opposite to angle c so out of in a in this triangle there are six measures they are angle a angle b angle c three angles and there are three sides small a small b small c so any students so feel that trigonometry chapter as a difficult in maths but in fact it is very easy because the trigonometry deals with only one type of triangles that is right angled triangles in trigonometry we use mostly right angled triangles let us consider a triangle abc with 90 degrees at angle b then angle a angle c are acute angles that is less than 90 degrees so if we know any of the acute angle and any of the side we can find other angles and other sides using trigonometric functions using trigonometric ratios so what is the use how can we find this triangle in our daily life in our daily life we can use this let us consider a man looking at the in the front of tree if we know the angle and the distance from the tree we can find the height of the tree we have to know first of all in the same way if you if you are looking uh, before a kutub minar if you know the angle and the distance of the man from kutub minar we can also find the height of the kutub minar here a man is seeing a mountain at a long distance if you know the angle of elevation and also the distance between the man and the uh, mountain we can find the height of the mountain without measuring here in the two story building a girl is seeing a flower outside the river if you know the angle and the height of the building we can find the width of the river using trigonometry and some are in the above figure a metallic wire ground and pole electric pole form a right angle triangle if the wire decreases what is the angle here a man white washing a wall if you want if you want to wash higher heights what is the length of the ladder here a children is playing on the slider if the angle of a slider increases what will be what will be the change in the is the children play on the ladder no. as well no about the trigonometric ratios it is nothing but the ratio of sides consider a triangle abc with 90 degrees at angle b then the side opposite to 90 degrees is called hypotenuse and ab is called adjacent side to angle a and bc is called opposite side to angle a so now different trigonometric ratios are defined as sin a is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse cos a is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse tan a is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse and cosecant a secant a and cot a are defined as well but these six trigonometric ratios are sometimes feeling people uh, students feel difficult but it can be remembered easily like this sin a is equal to opposite by opposite side by hypotenuse that is o by h cos a is defined as adjacent by hypotenuse that is a by h tan a is defined as opposite by adjacent side that is o by a it can be remembered as 
Soldiers of Hindustan can always have tea or alcohol because they are protecting our country at cool temperatures. So here S O H means sin is equal to O by H. C A H means cos A is equal to A by H. And T O A means tan is equal to O by A. This is the way of full way of remembering trigonometric ratios. Thanks for watching my video. ये वीडियो मेक नचते हैं लाइक चाहिए शेयर चाहिए सब्सक्राइब चाहिए थैंक यू बाय